Yo, I want to talk about a subject that I'm very passionate about. It's kind of got me wild up right now because something just kind of popped up to me think about it. And that is just the rise of all these doomers in the world. People have been told their whole life that the world is ending, the apocalypse is near, climate change is coming, the humans are bad for the planet, and then hard times are going to come. And that is all just complete BS. That could not be farther from the truth. Let's just start with a small example, right? Take Greta Thunberg. She's basically the face of like climate change, radical activism, all that stuff. This is a kid who, if you don't know this, uh, Greta Thunberg is like 13, 14 years old. She's also on the autistic spectrum slightly. And her mother is basically another radical environmentalist using her to kind of puppet her own ideas and just push them out there into the world. And now you have this kid like this who's basically been fear-mongered and taught that the world is ending, this is bad stuff's happening, she'll parrot out these ideas, and all these leaders try to push like their agendas and their narratives are gonna bow down to her, be like, oh, this, this girl's so important, she's so right, and all this. And from, their, from her point of view, she sees all this happening, like, oh my God, my childhood nightmares of the world ending are coming true. So she spreads that message. We see her up in the media, and the media reinforces all this, but this is all just a complete lie. The world is getting better. More people is better for the world and better for the environment. And that's because more people leads to more innovation. 60 Seconds, um, which is like a news broadcasting, not a news, like a, like they do interview segments. I guess, I guess they're like a news, uh, a news channel, whatever. They interview this guy who has just been a doomer for the past like 70 years. And will basically always push out these things that, you know, in the next 20 years, England's gonna be underwater because of climate change, or Florida's gonna be underwater, or we're gonna completely destroy all the forests of how big our cities are growing. And a huge population collapse is coming because people are gonna run, run out of food on the planet, more mouths, harder to feed people, all this stuff. Even Thanos in um, Avengers, like Infinity War and Endgame, he popped the same idea, too many mouths to feed, Humanity and the world, the universe will just keep growing, not enough resources, it'll crash back down very bad. But this is all a lie because more people is better for the world because more people leads to innovation. And that's the point that everyone seems to miss. We as humans differ from other animals because we don't just consume, we produce. If you think about us like, say that we're a rabbit, right? And you have, we're, a thousand rabbits in this gigantic green field. We're rabbits, we eat the grass, produce more rabbits, we reproduce, eat more grass, produce more rabbits, reproduce. By the time it gets so large, we've eaten all the grass, the grass won't have enough time to replenish and we would just all die in massive numbers. There's no food at all. There's only a few of us left, maybe none of us. But we're not rabbits. We can innovate, we can create new things. We've had huge mass, for example, people talked about population collapse. The world's gonna run out of food. We genetically engineered food to meet that demand so we can make more food, make it faster. We built vertically these um, like farms, like these food farms and all this stuff. We had all these crazy innovations, fertilizer, pesticides, all this stuff to fill in that need. Another thing people say is like deforestation, right? Like because of us growing as a species, forests are being chopped down, there's not enough room, there's less and less trees, nature's dying. This, first of all, it's just complete BS. Forests have grown 35% in North America and in England over the past 20 years. And that's because we found more efficient ways to house people. We built vertically into the sky. We were able to, you know, have these like micro apartments and like, you see even like Tokyo now where like things will like move across, like you'll have like a wall you can pull out and have an office space pop out from the wall. It's origami origami type stuff and the world's just getting better we need more people and freedom because that fuels innovation to make the world better but seeing people constantly be told that the world is ending humans are bad for the world we need less of us like they'll really put out ideas this guy the 60 seconds interviewed i forgot his name he was this old guy he's been like on tv shows in the 70s just talking about how the world's gonna end he was saying stuff like the government should be put should be putting sterilizer in food to stop us from reproducing. Like, what kind of thoughts do these people get to? But if you ask most people, they would think the world is ending. Even one other thing I want to talk about is landfills. But all this idea that we're running out of place to put our trash in the U.S. and that somehow that's why we need to recycle more and take care of that issue. The next one thousand years, if we took all the trash people in the United States, it pretended that U.S. was like a football field. We could fit all that trash in 
probably a one foot by one foot square. Probably something, excuse me, something less than that. This idea that like we're running out of space for trash and there's just, just trash is everywhere and like the world's ending. Hard times are coming. This is so completely untrue. By every metric, the world is getting better as a whole. There's less, oh, there's less um, poverty. There's less extreme starvation. More people are being housed. The world's becoming a better place. Sure, there might be like ups and downs in that upward trend. And certain areas might be better. Certain areas might get worse. And those things might change. But in general, us as humanity, we're moving forward. So get this mindset that the world is ending. And all this negativity, this doomer, scaremongering thought process out of your head. The world is not ending. Hard times are not coming. There's no apocalypse coming. Guys, this gets me so fired up. People are just walking around just hold, the whole day just so scared. You'll see like these extremists like blocking traffic and trying to refuse for oil pipelines, trying to make oil pipelines be shut down and throwing paint on works of art, trying to get spread the message that the world is ending. What it isn't true. One more example is oil spills, right? The government used to clean up oils. They still do. Government would clean up oil spills and they would take them forever. They'd be inefficient at it. But when they had a comp, another like group had a competition, we're going to pay a million dollars to whoever creates the best idea for cleaning up oil faster. That freedom and like the monetary reward led those people to make a new system to clean up oil spills using something like some kind of like swirly thing they put out and like some sponge type variation to be like 80% more effective, cost 200% less, just all these efficiencies. Any problem you can name, the world will fix because we as humans innovate. And this idea that we're just some animal that's gonna just overconsume and die off as a species is not true. But unfortunately, people believe this so much that they're choosing not to have kids for it. I don't want my kids to be raised with climate change. Like what kind of, God. and. On one hand, I, I dislike people for having this mindset. It's a very childish mindset because anyone with more than two brain cells will realize that humans innovate. Even when I was being told all this stuff in school that the world's ending climate change, I just, I found it very hard to believe because there's no way, maybe because, because I'm an engineer and I just solve problems by nature. It just like, doesn't make sense. We would find ways to fix this problem. At the worst, if the planet did collapse, we'd find other planets. Like stuff would work out. We'd want to survive as a species. So, and also the media will purport these narratives, the world's ending, we need to switch to this and this, we immediately just flip the switch, get rid of all oil and gas and switch to like natural uh, earth powered stuff as if that ever actually, made, we, we're nowhere near that level and that would cause a lot of problems. And then like forcing that to happen, trying to push these like green narratives for a variety of reasons that I don't want to get into right now. It just makes people have the wrong mindset about the world and humanity. People see humanity now as a virus and that could not be farther from the truth. So if you have the same mindset inside of you that the world is ending and the oil rigs are coming and what am I saying? The oil spills and we're running out of places to our trash and climate change and this is gonna happen and Florida's gonna be underwater and the these hurricanes are coming and things are getting much worse and then pop, uh, the economic crash is coming and just this and that. This is not true. We are getting better and better as a species every single year on average. Even this idea of like, uh, the point I mentioned, if you ask most people, they'd say, oh, yeah, forests are dying. But no, in the US and Europe, they've grown 35% in the past 20 years. So get this mindset. And if you are some like doomer, fear monger, scare monger person, get that crap out of your head. The world is getting much better. People have predicted the doom and the apocalypse since the beginning of time. People said 50 years ago, we're gonna run out of oil. We can't be able to use our engineering and machinery things are going to happen. We found ways to be much more efficient with the oil that we did have. People said a few hundred years ago, the yeah, we're going to be in a the cold war with Russia, a nuclear war will ensue. Didn't happen. People always love predicting the end of the world because it makes them feel like as if they're feeling and they care about the whole world. And if you are instead a rational optimist, then that's seen as uncaring, but it should be the other way around. It's these doomers that are uncaring. So get that mindset. If you actually really look into this and you'll see how this is all complete crap, humanity and more people is better for the environment and our world. So get that crap out of your head. Research it if you don't believe <laughs> Research it if you don't believe me. And just have hope in your fellow man. Like, things are gonna get a lot better beyond even our most wildest imaginations. Nobody even predicted like Uber a couple years ago, but now it's it made all of our lives easier because innovation and freedom and more people is better for the planet. So I want to get that rant out of here. Hope you did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, sub to my OnlyFans.